In our previous videos, we have discussed about the methods to determine the stress acting in the pre-stressed concrete members. Having the stress determined, we will need to check the stress limit. It is a part of the requirement for us to check and design for the serviceability limit state. Now let us look into the allowable flexural stress limits. First, we need to know the purpose of having this stress limit. It is to avoid damage to the member during the constructions and also to ensure the serviceability of the member by limiting the crack width and also the deflection. The stress limit can be defined by two types, which is the compression and also the tension. If the compression stress limit is exceeded, we will expect failure of the concrete in terms of compression, such as crushing and probably spalling of the concrete. If the tension stress limit is exceeded, there will be cracks which can degrade the bond and also affect the durability of the structure. Excessive cracks on the concrete will significantly affect the performance of the pre-stressed concrete structure. Before we look into the stress limits, these are the concept of the compressive stress limit. There are two conditions, which are the normal case and also quasi-permanent case. The quasi-permanent case will represent the conditions that the imposed load will act as if the permanent load. The differences between the two cases here will be the limits which is 0 0.6 and 0 0.45. In our case here, we are referring to the normal case. And that gives the compressive stress limit of 0 0.6 FCK at the time of the concrete. You know that FCK is the characteristic compressive strength of the concrete and the compression stress limit is limited by 60% of its characteristic strength at that instant. This 0.6 is probably the factor of safety or the factors that take into consideration of the effect of the flexural response. With that, we will always adopt that 0 0.6 to be multiplied with the FCK of the concrete. You know that we are designing the member in two stages, which is at the transfer and at the service. Normally, the transfer is done before the concrete is fully matured. Therefore, the concrete strength here will be the concrete strength at that particular instance of transfer. It can be written in the symbol of FCI or in the symbol of SCKT. As for the service, the concrete is matured. Therefore, we are using SCK. The stress limit is kept by 60% of their compressive strength. Next, we look into the tension stress limit. It is normally governed by FCTM, concrete mean tensile stress. The FCTM can be determined from these two equations or refers from Table 3.1 of Eurocode 2 Part 1. For the concrete grade less than 50, the FCTM will be obtained from this equation. If the concrete grade is more than 50, FCTM is obtained from these equations. It is in the functions of mean compressive strength of the concrete, which is FCK plus 8. 
if we are dealing with the transfer stage the FCK here will be the FCK at that particular instance conceptually if SCTM is acided there will be cracks on the concrete which is beyond the acceptable limits therefore we need to ensure the tensile stress not to be greater than x FCTM as for the service state there are two conditions there are situations that totally no tensile stress is allowed and also situation that FCTM is allowed this is mainly due to the concept of full pre-stressing and partial pre-stressing that we have discussed in chapter 1 if we are designing a member of full pre-stressing the tensile stress is to be completely eliminated however if we are designing for partial pre-stressing some flexural cracking is permitted however if we are dealing with partial pre-stressing there should be additional ordinary reinforcement bar at the tension zone to control the propagations of the cracks and you will have to ensure the stress in the tendon is less than their full permitted value therefore it is depending on whether you are designing the section as a full pre-stressing or partial pre-stressing for full pre-stressing you cannot allow any tensile stress as for the partial pre-stressing FCTM will be the stress limit the equations for the FCTM is given here it is computed on the basis of the FCK as it represents the compressive strength at that particular instance also it has been discussed in our previous video for a specific locations of a pre-stressing members there will be at least four equations derived which cater for the transfer stage and service stage on top of the beam and bottom of the beam based on the concept of the superpositions the stress in the beam here is more likely to be critical in either the compressions or tension this table shows the likelihood of the critical conditions of the beam at the top and the bottom at the transfer and service state for the transfer stage the top part of the beam is more likely to undergo tension while the bottom part is likely to undergo compressions therefore it is checked against the tensile stress limit and also compression stress limit at the top and bottom of the beam at the transfer stage respectively as for the service state the critical conditions for the top and bottom beam reversed now the top part is more critical in compressions and more critical in tensions for the top and bottom beam respectively if you find difficulty to memorize the critical conditions you may check all the stresses against the compressions and tension stress limit both as long as they fall within the acceptable range which is not exceeding the compression limit and not exceeding the tension limits you will know that the stress is acceptable with that I will recommend you to check for both compressions and tensile stress limit for all the equations just in case that you miss the most critical situations of the stress limit as for the critical conditions of the stress limit 
you can consider them as the foundations or basis net to be used for the following derivations of the magnal diagram and initial sizing. As far as your concern for the stress checking here, you are recommended to check for the stress both for the compression and tension stress limit.